question tell me what you think hey y'all what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is crystal and i post a lifestyle content basically i'm just sharing my journey of healing myself physically spiritually emotionally just like all the areas that i'm trying to grow i would love if you subscribe to the channel and gave this video a thumbs up so y'all as you know or maybe you don't know i went to the bahamas for my birthday and i had a freaking blast y'all so grateful for the trip it was so much fun if you haven't watched that vlog already i'm gonna link it right now for you to check it out because y'all we had a time okay but now I am home. I've been home for probably about a day and a half. And it is time for me to get my life together. There is nothing that makes you more aware of like where you are in life. Like another birthday. Like another birthday year. It's like, okay, girl. We need to figure some things out. We need to get this house together. We need to get our mind together. We need to get our money together. But yeah. So all that's happened since I've been home is um, my couch for the home office got delivered. And if you watch some of the older vlogs, you know, I've talked about like decision making and how sometimes that's a struggle for me due to like kind of some childhood stuff or whatever. But I'm really proud. I picked a couch and I love it. And it just really helped me realize like, OK, you can make decisions and it's going to be fine. Like no need to freak out. And even when they delivered the couch, I'm like, girl, if you don't like it, we'll pick it up. You have 30 days. And so I'm just so grateful that I ended up loving the couch, being so happy with it. And it was just such a solid reminder of like, it's not that big of a deal. Like trust your intuition. Anyway, the couch got delivered. Loved that then y'all i have been organizing my kitchen so i did my little coffee station y'all and i'm really excited for that i got some really cute like syrup dispensers from amazon which are going to be linked in my storefront down below i got some storage containers for my nespresso pods and i just made it like a really vibey station i still have some more that i want to do to make it like a real coffee bar but right now i'm so happy with how that turned out and I've been organizing my kitchen cabinets. I went through and organized all my cups and got rid of anything that like was, like I, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I had a lot of cups where I only have one of the cup, right? I didn't even have a pair, I just had one single cup. And so a lot of those I donated and got rid of because I just knew like I did not need them. But then I took all the ones that I do have pairs for and went ahead and like, organized it so that my cabinets look nice i organized my tupperware contain pinch my tupperware cabinet like i just got myself together y'all i organized my pots and pans cabinets so i feel really good i feel like my kitchen is in such a nice space i even did the junk drawer y'all this junk drawer had stuff from like when i first moved into this house two and a half years ago almost three years ago it has stuff from now but i organized that and i feel really really good about it and so yeah that's just all i've been doing y'all just kind of getting it together and that's what this vlog is going to be all about just like resetting from a trip resetting your life i still have a lot to do in the kitchen we're going to tackle the pantry today we're going to tackle the fridge i need to deep clean my fridge like clean it clean it we're gonna do that um and i got some spice containers as well that i'm gonna like move all my spices to and yeah we're just gonna be getting it together basically y'all i'm really excited i have a lot of cleaning to do i'm about to show all the space in a bit but right now i'm just enjoying my morning coffee and taking it slow it's a friday so y'all know i work from home i am going to go meet a new friend for lunch at 12 o'clock so i'm just hanging out until then basically and not really gonna eat anything because trying to just do better about you know calories or whatnot but yeah y'all that's all i got going on honey feeling blessed not stressed i'm probably about to watch i've been watching um in the dark a new season came on netflix and i've been all about it also i've been catching up on handmaid's tale although i will say like i used to love handmaid's tale and i could watch like three episodes in a row but now one episode feels like a five hour watch to me i don't know maybe it's because it's like so heavy now i'm not sure what's going on honey but anyway that's enough of me rambling y'all because it's like four minutes of me just chit chatting but i want to update y'all and tell y'all all the stuff i've been doing so that y'all can know what's been going on since i got home now let's get into making this coffee station as you can see this drawer is a hot ass mess it has slowly been turning into like a drunk drawer so i knew that i needed to get it together the first thing that i did was just go ahead and clean it out make sure that i lifted up the little cover and wiped everything down really well 
Then y'all, I put the cover back and I got these acrylic little small containers from Amazon. They're going to be in my storefront, y'all. They are so amazing. Like, because I knew that I wanted to section off my Nespresso coffees based on the type. And so I set those all up and tried to make kind of a grid. I like that they're little individual ones that come in different sizes because I was able to kind of pick the layout that I wanted. So I put all my iced coffees in the back because those are the biggest pods. Then I did just my coffee espresso shots double espresso shots i just tried to do them in order and just make it aesthetic then to the side to the right you're gonna see i have a lot of room left i want to use those for tea and stuff eventually but like right now i was just focused on getting the coffees done and i did add a few teas after the fact <laughs> So after that y'all I started on the countertop station and I'm super excited I ordered these really cute containers from Amazon and they are like little pumps for your your syrups for your coffee and so the first thing I did was go ahead and clean those off because like make sure you clean them y'all but then I filled them up with all my sugar free syrups um I actually they come in a set of two so I bought four total like two sets of <laughs> the things um, but I only used three because the fourth one, I want to save that for like seasonal flavors or like pumpkin spice or peppermint mocha, whatever. Anyway, I got those labeled them. I just love the gold accent y'all, the gold hardware and it came with the labels. They are expensive y'all. They were like 30 something dollars, I think, but it is good glass, like nice, heavy glass Second of all, this is one of those things like you'll have this in your kitchen for like four years or you know what I mean? Like you'll have it in your kitchen for a minute. So I was like, I might as well invest. And I didn't like the ones that were plastic. They just did not look as nice to me. So after I did all that, I just set my Nespresso back up. I make sure to wipe it off really good. And for the syrups, I got this little tray from Target. I'm not really too sure how I feel about it right now. I don't know if it's going to stick around, but that is where I put all my little syrups. And I just think it looks so cute, y'all. Like, what a little vibe. After that, I got to cleaning up the kitchen, y'all, because your girl's life was a mess. So we did some dishes and things like that. I'm going to do the fridge first before I do the floors because now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, it's done to do it the other way around. Now this is the problem. I've had this fridge for two and a half years. To be honest with y'all, I've never cleaned it. Normally my housekeeper does. <laughs> but y'all know I don't have a housekeeper currently. So I gotta figure out how to like take the fridge apart basically, bust it down and like really clean it, clean it. But I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, so this is the current state of my fridge. As y'all can see, it's dirty. There's just no way around it, it is dirty. I mean, I have crumbs everywhere and I have basically no food, so. This is what it's looking like. market it's saturday i got my purse my phone i'm about to do a quick run because it's already 10 30 i'm just getting like my essentials because my fridge is empty y'all let me show y'all i forgot the camera died last night before i could show y'all but look how good this fridge looks it's giving very very clean there's not even stuff down here i'm very happy with that i'm about to um throw on some shoes and get to the farmer's market i need to want some earrings but i'll get some downstairs because my luggage is still down there I'm back from the farmer's market. Let me show y'all what I got. 
I got some fresh bratwurst sausage, pan sausage, and then I got some okra, and then also some Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna do okra and tomatoes. <laughs> if you're from the South, you know what I'm about to make. And then I got a bag of onions, just because it was like variety onions, and so I thought that was nice. These are cute, right? Like, you know, they're cute little onions. So before I went out of town, I wanted to redecorate this little island part of my kitchen. And I went to TJ Maxx and I got some stuff. So I'm about to show y'all what I got and then we're gonna style it. So I got this tray. Then I got a fruit bowl because I really needed one y'all. I got some picture frames. I got three different kinds. So these are gold. And then this is white, or like herringbone white. I think that's cute. Then I got some new measuring spoons. That match, and they also have the size on the metal part, like engraved. Cause I don't know if y'all have had those ones that are like, it's printed on there and then you put it in the dishwasher and then it goes away. Then I got some fall candles. So this one right here is pumpkin patch. Here is just an aesthetic white one called herbal blend. And so yeah, I'm about to decorate this little section. in the pantry because that is the last goal of my getting my life together <laughs> for this week is just doing this pantry y'all now I don't think I've ever seen my pantry but let me show y'all the chaos exhibit a <laughs> let me show y'all the chaos just a second also, y'all, I am going to have to re stuff in my house, and I'm so nervous. I'm going to start watching YouTube videos about how to do it. That's going to be my project for this week. Of course, the man told me that he would do it for me, but man, sometimes don't keep their word. I'm not tripping on it, though, because it was just God exposing him, because he told me like 30 times, I'm going to come do it for you, I'm going to come do it for you. Has he done it? No. So I need to do it, because I'm getting those little gaps, you know, where you're like crown molding meats and stuff. Anyway, house stuff. But yeah, let me show y'all the pantry. This is my pantry from the top to the bottom. As y'all can see, there is no order, there is no structure, there is no method to the madness. Everything is just everywhere and that's how it has been for a long time. I know that probably 80% of this stuff unfortunately is expired just because of how unorganized it is. But what I'm going to do is just take everything out, check expiration dates. So if you're triggered by food waste, I'm sorry. I understand it's very valid, but this is just my reality right now. So I'm about to take everything out of here, organize it into like sections, I guess, and get to it, y'all. I just wanted to share that with y'all, but yeah, it's a mess. I mean, I have random oil and hot sauces on top of almonds or walnuts random sauces down here is just random ish everywhere like there's no there's no structure there's no there's no method to this madness so we're gonna get it together my kitchen has been like my main goal of like organization and everything so 
I'm feeling pretty good about it. Before, of course, I'm gonna take a picture for my thumbnail. <laughs> this big ass bag of chia seeds, nine out of 10, it is bad. That's terrible. So this is, I'm gonna make an expired section over here. Yeah, over there is gonna be the expired counter. Um, these are so good. This has been open, I'm 90% sure. Yeah, this has been open, so that's bad. And I don't know if I'm the only one. I feel like sometimes you just have too much stuff in your pantry and you can't see it all, so it never gets used. And I'm trying to, like, break that habit because I feel like that's really bad. Also, y'all, are my seasonings going bad? Why do they get to the point where I can't? You see, look, nothing's come. Oh, nothing's coming out of here, though. You see, but it's full. What am I doing wrong to my seasoning? Somebody comment down below and let me know. Okay, y'all, we're gonna do a quick pantry haul because I'm about to organize it. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon. Whatever doesn't work, I'm gonna return it. So I'll link what works in the storefront. I got these. It's an eight pack organizer. And they're like kind of narrow. Then I got, okay, this is a rice dispenser or a grain dispenser, whatever you want it to be. I just love the idea of having this in the pantry. I believe it stands on its own. If it doesn't stand on its own, then it's gonna have to get returned because I don't need it to mount to the wall. Then I got a rack for my canned goods. So we're gonna put this together. Y'all, I'm tired. <sighs> then, this is a spice rack. It's a bamboo spice rack. And this is, I think it's the same thing. I ordered two because I want it to be wide enough to fit all my spices. So let's see. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's the second spice rack. I'm not even gonna open that. And then lastly, I got an eight pack of more organizers. So we're about to go put this in y'all. I'm gonna put the organizers in there first and then we're gonna put the stuff in there. We wanna get a vibe first and foremost. I thought y'all wanted to stop to get some wicker baskets but I might go get those after I organize everything cause Ross isn't closing for late. Okay, y'all, I was gonna try to fill every single thing that's like empty with stuff, but I'm also gonna leave some open because I actually don't have everything to like put pastas in and stuff. Like I just don't use that much stuff. So I'm gonna just put what I have on the second shelf and then we're gonna move to the third and fourth shelf. Also, my eyes are so red because I'm getting sleepy because I just have like these right here that I put pasta in and I'm gonna put these to the back.
okay y'all here's the final product i love it so much i hope i didn't bore y'all too much but sis had to get it together y'all know i have been living a wild life like i'm a 21 year old so it was time for me to get my home in order hopefully i didn't bore y'all too much um but yeah i feel so good about it can't wait to keep organizing the rest of my house thank y'all so much for watching this video of me getting my life together if you enjoyed it please be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up also in the comment section let me know if you have any organization tips for your kitchen that I missed out on so that I can get it together. Love y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.